I'm frustrated with my relationship with my father. It's all about her. She's self-centered. She thinks I'm an ATM. You swipe the card in my mouth and money pops out of my My daughter has it easy. She has too good of a life. If I ask you one time to do something, you should just get up, do what you gotta do, and not take two hours to do it. When my dad yells, all I can think is like, shut the hell up. She's always like telling me what to do. Just watch the door. Why is the light on in here? Clean this, do this. He has the raw material, he has no drive. Instead of saying the one thing I should do, he'll tell me everything I can't do. Your own father telling you like, he'd rather be at the office than spending time with his family. Like, it, like it's, it's hurtful. What do you want to do? You want to sit here and cry with me? I mean, that, that's how life is. I'm not here to be Joey Father of the Year. My mom's preventing me from living like a teenager. I know she hates it. I know, I know, I know she hates me for that reason because um, I don't want to do this. It's a major reason why we're having a little difficulty, you know, getting along, because I'm so, I guess, strict to her, so I, I don't let her loose. But I just, I'm not ready for that. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. You know, maybe this experience will be the thing that we look back on and say, that's when we reconnect. Now it's put up or shut up as they completely switch places for three days and dare each other to try my life. I hope my father learns during this that he just, maybe it's not as simple as he thinks. She's going to learn that, you know what, just because I make it look easy doesn't mean I do nothing. Well, maybe after this, like, they'll stop fighting a little bit. At least we hope that. It's stupid to fight so much, and that's why, like, I'm glad we're doing this. I think it'll, like, help us. I have some things for Dad. And I got something for you. So you can read my giant textbook. Business law, big deal. I do it every day. Next. This is my rod. So this is something you're going to have to use to get around with. Let's see how you do with that. You're going to be in a school talent show. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dad, I don't want You're to. going to be in oh. front of the whole student. Oh. <laughs> the scene that I've been studying right. is Romeo and Juliet. And since you are trying my life this week, somebody has to take over. <laughs> Juliet. Take this flashlight. And with this flashlight, it goes a can. And we're going to give you a mask. You don't make a sale, you got to come home and tell the family, uh, uh, I didn't make any money this week. I'm sorry. Mac, Sounds cheese good. for everybody, three for a buck. I mean, come on, how hard can it be to squish some bucks? OK, you're going to see what it's like. Allison, I dare you to try my life. It's unbelievable. You wake up, just, what am I doing here? It's like being in a Turkish prison. I need you to go, Ron. One, two seconds. Get up! I had to wake them up. They didn't want to get up. There was just so much to do. After went up, I was breakfast. He still has to eat. Please sit down. Go sit on the couch and wait. When I arrived at work, I was definitely not ready for everything that hit me. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never been so disoriented in my whole life. Everything that I do, I'm so on top of, I'm so confident, I'm, I'm doing that, but I would never walk into a class like home economics and go, hey, how you doing, everybody? I'm Joey the You're gonna need to do a conversion to convert weight in pounds to newtons. I did. So how do you know you're weighting? Uh, multiply your weight by 9.8. I was supposed to be at that lawn 15 minutes ago. Oh, you know, a little tense in the truck. If I run late in my real life, you know, it's not, I'm the guy. But I ran late on this guy today, and he's the guy. It's hard to remember that. I'm late for class. I'm sorry. You got a pass? No, I don't have a pass. Sit down right there, right. and let's get going. You're behind. My whole right. schedule just, is like, you know, I'm uh, so sorry. I know. Oh, it's fine. But I just, no, I'm yeah, trying to. Really. And it I just kept getting like in big knots. And she was like, I, I, I think my hair is just spraying knots, which it like mostly was. I'm in there like with the light, like looking around for like a minute, like a good minute, like just looking at the ceiling, looking around. And there was a rat there. <laughs> oh my God! I freaked and I ran. Like I ran out of there and I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I know, I know. Hold on. Okay, then we'll just trade. I don't think I'm 
that cut out for fatherhood just yet. Come on, let's go, come on, Pete, let's go. The soccer practice really winded me out. I felt myself going down and like losing my breath. I just, even if I would have, you know, went 100% the whole time, I would have been, I probably would have dropped dead. Going in there and being like total center of attention, and I mean, I mean, my stomach's like flipping. I had a half of a half of a sandwich, you know, and I'm like, you know. You want to give me business pressure? That's fine. I live it. I eat it. I drink it. I smell it. But this kind of emotional pressure, hundreds of kids staring at me, all that type of attention, you forget what it feels like to be uncomfortable like that. And you know what? <laughs> I don't like it. My daughter dances, and I used to say to her, don't worry, it's easy, you know, go up there and, and don't look at the other dancers, make sure, you know, you know. When I got up there, what did I do? I, I watched the other dancers, my stuff, I felt like throwing up. You know, I, I, I felt what she feels. Can you zip me up, man? I thought I knew what nervous was before. This is for a boy. I'm Jones, and man, I, I'm spinning like a top. Oh, my God. Now I'm gonna fucking pass out. Oh, I'm shot. <laughs> The first half of the game, I was getting a little winded, and I could feel myself slowing down. <laughs> After the game, it made me remember what it's like to be a kid again. And um, it made me realize what Jacqueline's going through. Hey, Jacqueline, I did this for you, babe. I love you. I'm actually um, more stressed out for my father than I was for my presentation today. Good night, sweet Romeo. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I don't want to try your life anymore. No? No. No, I'm done. I'm out. I'm telling you the truth. This is one of the most outrageous experiences I've ever had in 43 years. Allison is totally earning my respect. I realize going back to school and seeing how difficult it is just being a kid again and fitting in with the rest of the crowd. Yeah. Oh, it, it made me think. I want to give you a little more leeway. I feel if, if, if I give out a little more, let you go, maybe you'll, you'll feel closer to me and we won't argue. Yeah, I do believe it. I, and now I understand and appreciate how hard your day really is and what it consists of. And you don't get to sit at all. And I will try to help out more so you can relax. I give your mother a hug. Give me a hug. I think our communication has improved a whole lot. I really do. Um, like we went to uh, we went to check a store the other day, and she was like actually interested. I really loved doing what he did, so I guess now after that I have more of an interest. You know, she's going to be a businesswoman somehow, some way. I'm not pushing her, but it just she just seems cut out for it. I'm amazed. She amazed me. I think you like me a little.